In this video, we're going to see how to create ordinate dimensions inside of Autodesk Inventor. So in the Creating Ordinate Dimensions DWG from our Working Files directory, I'm going to go to my Annotate tab. On my Dimension panel, I will see there's Ordinate and Ordinate Set. To begin with, I'll start with the Ordinate command. This command will have me select a view to get started, and then select an origin location. Here I will choose the far left edge of this part. Next, the command has me select Model Geometry to create dimensions off of. It will use that origin locator as a guide to measure from. When I right click and choose Continue, I can place them either vertically or horizontally based on where I drop my cursor. Once I select, it'll place them there. However, it does not yet create them. What I have to do next is right click and choose OK and then it will generate my separate ordinate dimensions. These can also be dragged around by their elbows in case you need to leave extra room. Now the ordinate set is a little bit different, so let me erase these. When I choose the ordinate set command, I still have to specify my origin point, select my model geometry, right click and choose continue, place them where I want, Right click and say create, and everything seems pretty straightforward here. Although you are seeing a few extra options down below, I do have an option to change the origin, to reverse the direction, or also to show direction for which way the ordinates are flowing. For now, I will just choose my create option. Now, these differ from the ordinate command because I can come back in here and operate them as a complete set. So if I change precision, it changes precision for all of them. If I right click on one of them, I can add additional members, delete members, and also change the origin and the direction. So as an example here, I'll go ahead and right click on this one and say add member. Here I will choose the left quadrant of the circle and the right quadrant of the circle. You can see it automatically adds in the elbows and shifts them over. If I would like to delete a member, such as the 1.88 value here, I'll just right click on it and choose delete. Now I can shift this back in by grabbing on my green dots. So this has been a look at how to create ordinate and ordinate sets inside of Autodesk Inventor.